One of the best things about college is the opportunity it offers to build community. And according to our next speaker, when black males become active in their college communities, not only do they get more out of their time in college, they're also more likely to graduate. Please welcome Jermaine Wright, Interim University Director for the Black Male Initiative at the City University of New York. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you to Dr. Best for inviting me here to be a part of this monumentous occasion. I'm gonna take a step back a bit and just tell a bit about myself before I go into the CUNY Black Male Initiative program. I grew up in the Bronx, um, off of the Grand Concourse in 183rd Street, not one of the best areas to grow up in, but needless to say, through mentors, through tutoring, through support, I was able to make it out of that current circumstance, make it to Binghamton University, thereafter go to John Jay College where I received a master's in public administration, and I'm currently finishing up a PhD at Rutgers Newark. So some of those supportive services that I'm gonna talk about that the CUNY BMI Black Male Initiative offers were some of the things that I was exposed to that made me somewhat of the success that I am today. So CUNY BMI began about a decade ago. We're celebrating a decade this year, and it was born out of the auspice of realizing that men of color in particular were overrepresented in the criminal justice system and underrepresented in higher education. So with that being the case, CUNY BMI's then Chancellor Matthew Goldstein put together a task force to come up with solutions and recommendations on how to pretty much address the plight of black males in higher education. So when we began in 2005, we began with 15 demonstration projects throughout the five boroughs. CUNY itself is comprised of 24 institutions throughout the five boroughs. There are 11 senior colleges and seven community colleges. It ranges from associate's degrees, certificates, all the way up to PhD that you can receive at the City University of New York. So suffice to say, it's a very comprehensive and involved system. So being one of the largest urban public institutions, there are a lot of men of color, particularly at the City University of New York. So this was the best place to actually have a program of this magnitude so that we could address the needs of men of color. So I assumed the role of university director about eight months ago, and I've been with CUNY for about seven years now. And it's been a labor of love in that I love what I do, helping men of color succeed. I see myself in them and realizing that someone took the time to mold me, to tutor me, to mentor me, and to give me the supports and services that I need. So I feel that this program is a way of me give, evolve, excuse me, is a way of me giving back and I also get paid for it. So it's a win-win on my part. So BMI has three main components that I think leads to its success. We have a diversity recruitment component, which means that our 32 BMI sites are adamantly and aggressively going out there and reaching out to men of color. Whether they see them in the classroom, whether they see them in the hallways, they have particular events that may be of um, interest to men of color in particular, and men of color come to these programs, and it's pretty much the carrot on the hook that gets them bought in, that says that if you are serious about academic success, if you want to be successful, you'll join this program. Our primary funder for the BMI program is the City Council. We do receive um, funding from a public entity, so while we do bear the name Black Male Initiative, this program is open and available to all academically inclined students. However, it is a primary concentration of black men and Latino males that take part in the program. So we do a lot of diversity recruitment. The second facet of um, BMI, which I think is one of the prominent and most important pieces, is structured mentorship. What we found through research and just anecdotally that mentorship, mentorship, mentorship is a crucial and vital part to one's success and community building. So we have a peer mentorship model where we have high achieving students, sometimes um, upperclassmen, um, who are going to pretty much mentor and tutor low achieving students but also incoming freshmen helping them navigate through the ins and the outs, knowing what classes to take, what not to take, and also just helping them with the day-to-day -day rigors of being men of color at an institution and creating this sense of belonging and community, which is important. We've asked our students time and time again what has kept them coming back more and more, um, and it's more so because of the 
community and the family and the network that we've started that has had them coming back when they felt as if they wanted to leave, when they felt they wanted to give up. They knew that someone cared about them and said, you know what, we won't let you go. Um, so it's that sense of community and belonging that has been instrumental in making our students successful. And then the last component is academic enhancement and programming because by all means it is a higher ed institution. So without being academically successful in getting those high marks, um, we won't be able to get our students out um, when they need to be with 120 credits and above a 2.0. Um, so we're very astute about connecting our young men of color, our students generally with tutoring opportunities, with learning libraries, with things that will make them academically successful throughout. So I think those three components is what makes BMI the success that it is. So in closing, I wanted to read a brief excerpt from a student that I think somewhat says it better than I can say. So he states, young black youth today, it, excuse me, young black youth in this day and age need all the support that they can get. I was lucky to have the type of father that I have. However, most black youth have no support system and have to look to others to show them support. We come from broken homes, impoverished communities, and pass through a school system that poorly educates us. To a lot of black males at BMCC, BMI is the only support that they have. They get academic support, more importantly, a place to just be themselves and tackle their problems head on. BMI has impacted both my academic and social life. Academically, on a general level, BMI has given me the support needed and put me in the right place to be around the right people. Socially, on the other level, BMI takes the platform of a safe zone of thought. We are free to think and talk however we like without worry of being persecuted. Moreover, BMI provides its members with opportunities to work either through or directly with BMI. And this thought then closes by saying that because of the interventions of BMI, he currently has a 4.0 GPA, plans to do a double major in physics and mathematics when he gets to a four-year institution, and he also plans to jump straight to the PhD in physics program once he completes the undergraduate degree. And it was through the assistance of BMI that he went ahead and applied for the BMCC NYU Poise program, where, um, which he has been accepted to. To sum of the program, he is one of 10 BMCC students competing for five scholarships to NYU. The winners will be announced towards the end of this school year. So in closing, this is what BMI has done for its students, and you've heard directly from a student how BMI has impacted him. Thank you.